What do you say to people who the deep fundamental problem in their life is that they're lost? They have no sense of meaning or purpose. They don't know what direction to go into. They're sliding towards depression because it all seems so pointless. Um, yep. that, that's something that I encounter with people a lot. Um, people will stop me randomly and just be like, help. And I'd love to know, knowing that you have a very limited window of time with that person, you know, what would you say in like 60 or 90 seconds that would hopefully send them on a path that would actually be useful? Well, I would just point out the mechanics of it, which is what is actually going on is that they're lost in thought. They're, they're thinking without knowing that they're thinking basically every moment of their waking life, right? And the, and the character of that story in this case is depressing or, or um, you know, certainly productive of unhappiness. Now, there are two, there are three, at least three possible antidotes to that, and they should try all of them, right? So like if, it, if we're talking about a clinical depression, it's, it's useful to say that there's a physiology to this that you know, can be driven from below in a way that's not narrowly responsive to their thinking, right? So it's, it'll tend to produce uh, depressive thoughts, and the depressive thoughts will tend to feed back on the state. But you know, I don't think all forms of depression are just a matter of what a per person's thinking. I and mean, it can be really, it's, it's best viewed as a kind of disease, you know, of physiology. And so, you know, I'm not against antidepressants at all. I know many people who have you know, received a lot of help from them, and I hope we get better ones in the future. And, and pharmacology is definitely a piece of the, of the solution for, for many people. Uh, and everything else that is good to do that people sort of lose their commitment to doing at the worst possible time should be done. I mean, you have to sort of get behind yourself and push to, to exercise and to socialize and to do things that you know you you may not want to do because those are good for you and help you know break can can break you out of it. But the normal range of psychological suffering, you know, not clinical depression, but just feeling like you know life sucks and you're a failure and there's nothing you know it's like uh, you're just it's you're stuck. That is a story of telling yourself a story, you're thinking, and you can either become more and more mindful of that and interrupt that more and more, uh, and or, and it, and it should be and, you can reframe this continually and tell yourself a better story. Right? You can actually just engineer, you know, you, you can change the code that you're, that you're you know, uh, running moment to moment and I mean, just you know, a very simple one, which I, you know, I use, and I actually recently recorded this in a lesson on the app, you know, just gratitude, just thinking, this is actually, you know, this particular maneuver is, uh, I believe, comes from Stoic philosophy. I, I didn't actually get it from Stoic philosophy, but this, this sort of use of negative imagination where you think of all of the bad things that haven't happened to you, right? So if you're just, you know, if you're stuck in traffic, driving to the job that you don't like, and you're, you're frustrated, uh, you can think of all the things that could happen to you, right, that haven't. And if any one of them happened to you, you would consider your prayers answered if you could just be returned to this moment, right? Like you haven't been diagnosed with cancer, right? You've got two young kids, say, you know, you want to live to see them grow up, and you could be the guy who today is going to find out you've got two months to live. Right, and you have to. Then the next two months is spent just unwinding your worldly affairs. Right, you're not that guy. Right, that hasn't happened to you yet. That's just more th thinking, but it can have a profound effect. You can you can reframe your experience in a way that doesn't actually change anything material about your circumstance, and it can let the the light in. And there are many techniques like that that are just a matter of invoking useful concepts skillfully.